Guys, we just got a mount and we just try to establish the position and every time the person just reach for your arm, you just avoid the arm. We just avoid the arm, we don't let the guy control. That's when he starts like switch to the body. That's when he starts like go to push your knees. And a strong way that he has, he's just like a concentrate his both hands is one of your legs. So he starts pushing. You understand? So as soon as he do this guys, push, 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 push. And he starts like trap your leg. That's why you don't wanna let this happen. Stay again. So I'm here, I start to feel he starts pushing my leg. You know, he has like two arms against my leg, he starts to push. Open, open, open. Instead, you just let him like get out of the way. Let him push your knee, but bring your foot forward. All right, so push, push. So this is gonna stop him to recover the, the half guard. So he push your knee, push, push all the way. But he cannot get his hip out because my foot is, is stopping and he couldn't get the half guard inside. So now I'm gonna come with this hand under and just push him flat again. All right. One more time, go to the side, push, 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 bring your foot, hand comes on it. The other person, probably, as soon as you go over there and start pulling his arm, he's going to have his arm because he don't want to leave his arm extended. So we go again. Just come on. All right, let's, let's walk from the same place. So he just concentrate all his energy, all his strength to just push your knee out. And as soon as you see that, you just like a, Pull your knee close to his hip. But now, guys, you realize he still keep try pushing even after you like, uh, you know, took his arm out. So if you see he's still here and been trying to fight for your arm, just drive the back knee to his shoulder. Actually, the back knee to like to, the, to, to his back too. And then if you see he's still on his side, that's a good chance you have to just go to the arm bar. Once he's still on his side, don't wait till he grab flat because he's still. He's, he's gonna have a little bit more protection of his arm. Now he has his whole like a elbow and, sh and shoulder exposed. And then we're gonna just pass the other leg over the head. Landing with the arm down. So, he's flat. He's flat and he just go, 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 go. And just step. Do the heat, he keeps going. This knee code behind. I have one knee on the mat. Mild then foot is still protect you, you know, hip skate forward and now just get the arm around his, his arm and make sure you get a good base to pass the leg over before you fall. I can base on the floor, I can base on his head, just pass the leg before you land and then push the arm back. Finish with one arm holding his arm and the other hand control his hand. Same position and like a step on this. Like I said, as soon as he starts to push my leg, I don't let my leg slide back, you know what I mean? So as soon as he push, my foot comes forward. But in this situation, he, he, went, he went faster than me. As soon as I, he push, I couldn't pull my leg out because it was really like too far. And then he trapped my leg. Not only my leg, but my knee, everything, you know what I mean? So I'm completely inside of the half guard now. As soon as you feel you lost the mount and you have your leg stuck in the half guard, Instead, you get your hand inside of both of his arms, just get him inside of one arm in between. And then hold with the underhook, like that. My leg is still there, this is not gonna change now, but I'm gonna get the control back. Because if he, if he got the half guard and the underhook on me, get the underhook, now he has everything, I don't have nothing, you know what I mean? I just have the top position where I don't know how long it's gonna last. So, I got the underhook, connect your hands, Palm, palm face up and the hand on the head face down, like this. And don't leave a room to push your face now. You know what I mean? I need to hide this. Just hide your head. And now, after we, are, we work to have the control back, now it's time to just use the leg that is outside to push his leg to get your leg free. Doesn't matter how long you guys just push his leg. Get your leg, push your leg up, all right? Just get the control, don't lose the control. Before we, we're in the mount, what is a really good position, and then you go back to the half guard, so we don't want to keep going back. So let's try to get the control back as soon as possible. 
goes here, you push, push, the arm come in. The on the hook, the arm who goes in, is the one from the same side that the leg is right. So before, before we did this, under both arms. Now, just go in between, one. Connect your hands, hold him really tight. One thing that you can prepare to, don't let this happen, is like, don't put too much weight of your hip on top of him. You can get flip over. I hold him tight, but my hip is outside. My hip stay low. In this situation, my hip is on top of him. In this, now my hip is on this side. Up, 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 up. My hip is on this side. Not on top of him, guys. Hip on the side, who's this side? Just push. Bring your knee really close to his head and just use your leg to push. And through your leg. And we get back to the side control again. 